episode of Read the Bible with the Practical Patriot. <laughs> uh, today, I'm um, sitting in front of my cool painted wall that we have in our basement. It goes all the way from the ceiling to the floor. It's kind of fun. My kids and I painted it. Um, it is a consequential day. It is January 6th, 2021. And uh, I think that uh, it's a good day to encourage ourselves in the Lord. Um, and in his word. And so I'm going to be reading a few chapters out of Psalms today, and uh, it's gonna be a good time of encouragement because the word of God is life. So let's start, let's pray first, since this is, uh, this is a prayer day. <laughs> so Lord, I just thank you for your word. I thank you that it brings life to us when we are feeling overwhelmed when we're in trouble we thank you that it is our it is our sword and our shield we thank you lord for it and that in this country america we are free to speak the truth and read the word of god in a public place like this in the precious name of jesus we pray amen amen psalm number 10 appropriate for today. Actually, all of these are quite appropriate for today. I'll give the little title before we begin. A song of confidence in God's triumph over evil. Why do you stand far off, O Lord? And why do you hide in times of trouble? The wicked in his pride persecutes the poor. Let them be caught in the plots which they have devised. For the wicked boasts of his heart's desire and he blesses the greedy and renounces the Lord. The wicked in his proud countenance does not seek God, and God in his, is in none of his thoughts. His ways are always prospering. Your, ju your judgments are far above out of his sight. As for all his enemies, he sneers at them. He has said in his heart, I shall not be moved. I shall never be in adversity. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and oppression. Under his tongue is trouble and iniquity. He sits in the lurking places of the villages. In the secret places, he murders the innocent. His eyes are secretly fixed on the helpless. He lies in wait secretly as a lion in his den. He lies in wait to catch the poor. He catches the poor when he draws them into his net. And so he crouches. He lies low that the helpless may fall by his strength. He has said in his heart, God has forgotten. He hides his face. He will never see. Arise, O Lord. O God, lift up your hand. Do not forget the humble. Why do the wicked renounce God? He has said in his heart, he will not require an account. But you have seen, for you observe trouble and grief to repay it by your hand. The helpless commits himself to you. You are the helper of the fatherless. Break the arm of the wicked and the evil man and seek out his wickedness until you find none. The Lord is king forever and ever. The nations have perished out of his land. Lord, you have heard the desire of the humble and you will prepare their heart. You will cause your ear to hear to do justice to the fatherless and the oppressed that the man of the earth may oppress no more. Amen. Hallelujah. Psalm 11. Faith in the Lord's righteousness. In the Lord I put my trust. How can you say to my soul, flee as a bird to a mountain? For look, the wicked bend their bow. They make ready their arrow on the string that they may shoot secretly at the upright in heart. If the foundations are destroyed, what are the righteous to do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids test the sons of men. The Lord tests the righteous, but the wicked and the one who loves violence his soul hates. Upon the wicked he will rain coals. Fire and brimstone and burning wind shall be the portion of their cup. For the Lord is righteous, and he loves righteousness, and his countenance beholds the upright. Excuse me. Psalm 12. Man's treachery and God's constancy. Help, Lord, for the godly man ceases. 
for the faithful disappear among the sons of men. They speak idly, everyone with his neighbor. With flattering lips and a double heart they speak. May the Lord cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that speaks proud things. Who have said, with our tongue we will prevail and our lips are our own? Who is Lord over us? For the oppression of the poor and for the sighing of the needy, now I will arise, says the Lord. I will set him in the safety for which he yearns. The words of the Lord are pure words like silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. You shall keep in them, O Lord. You shall preserve them from this generation forever. The wicked prowl on every side when vileness is exalted among the sons of men. Psalm 13. Trust in the salvation of the Lord. How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long shall I take counsel in my soul, having sorrow in my heart daily? How long will, you be my, will my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and hear me, O Lord my God, and lighten my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Lest my enemy say, I have prevailed against him. Lest those who trouble me rejoice when I am moved. But I have trusted in your mercy. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. Psalm 14. The folly of the godless and God's final triumph. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none who does good. The Lord looks down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there is any who understand, who seek God. They have all turned aside. They have together become corrupt. There is none who does good. No, not one. Have all the workers of iniquity no knowledge who eat up my people as they eat bread and do not call on the Lord? There they are in great fear, for God is with the generation of the righteous. You shame the counsel of the poor, but the Lord is his refuge. Oh, that the salvation of Israel would come out of Zion when the Lord brings back the captivity of his people. Let Jacob rejoice and Israel be glad. Hallelujah. One more. Psalm 31. Last but not least. The Lord is a fortress in adversity. In you, O Lord, I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in your righteousness. Bow down your ear to me. Deliver me speedily. Be my rock of refuge, a fortress of defense to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. Therefore, for your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Pull me out of the net which they have secretly laid for me. For you are my strength, and into your hand I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. I have hated those who, who regard useless idols, but I will trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in your mercy, for you have considered my trouble. You have known my soul in adversities and have not shut me up into the hand of the enemy. You have set my feet in a wide place. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. My eye wastes away with grief. Yes, my soul and my body, for my life is spent with grief and my years with sighing. My strength fails because of my iniquity and my bones waste away. I am a reproach among all my enemies, especially among my neighbors. I am repulsive to my acquaintances. Those who see me outside flee from me. I am forgotten like a dead man, out of mind. I am like a broken vessel, for I hear the slander of many. Fear is on every side, while they take counsel together against me. They scheme to take away my life. But as for me, I trust in you, O Lord. I say you are my God. My times are in your hand. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies and from those who persecute me. Make your face shine upon your servant. Save me for your mercy's sake. Do not let me be ashamed, O Lord, for I have called upon you. Let the wicked be ashamed. Let them be silent in the grave. 
Let the lying lips be put to silence, which speak insolent things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. Oh, how great is your goodness, which you have laid up for those who fear you, which you have prepared for those who trust in you in the presence of the sons of men. You shall hide them in the secret place of your presence from the plots of man. You shall keep them secretly in a pavilion from the strife of tongues. Blessed is the Lord, for he has shown me his marvelous kindness in a strong city. For I said in my haste, I am cut off before your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard the voice of my supplications when I cried out to you. Oh, love the Lord, all you his saints, for the Lord preserves the faithful and fully repays the proud person. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart, all you who hope in the Lord. Hallelujah. May the Lord's uh, words here in Psalms and David's words give us courage and strength in adversity to know that the Lord is our, is our righteous judge on the earth and he holds all of our days in his hand and he prepares the way for us when we trust in him. Have a great day. Music